Howdy. On uh, November 7th, 2015, three days after seeing Janet at the Chicago Theater on the uh, Unbreakable World Tour. Fantastic show, but that's for another discussion. Anywho, um, I'm working on a track called Stay. Um, it's a song that is at least 15 years old. Um, I demoed it back in the day when I had my Insonix KS32 workstation. I called it the tank because it was so heavy. Um, and it's just a cool little funky little groove. Um, you know, a song about, you know, a relationship that kind of is, has frayed and you want the, the person back. So you're like, come on, baby, come back, baby, stay. I'm lost without you. Um, so I've been working on the track, started recording this last night, a little bit last night and add some stuff today. Um, it's a, just a cool little groove, little funky little groove. It's got some, it's got a little bit of Minneapolis in it, I think. It's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of Jimmy Terry influence. It's got a little bit of Prince influence, a little bit of Jesse Johnson influence in there, but not, um, at least in terms of the, the groove. I think the, the song itself has a little more, um, maybe a little more Luther influence. I don't know. But anywho, once you hear it later, you'll decide for yourself. So here's kind of what I've been working on, what I have thus far. It's just a little bit, um, so you can just hear the groove just a wee bit of what we have so far. It's basically, um, drum part, um, the bass, um, horn parts. Um, I use one of the, my brass sounds from my, my uh, core cross 88 and then one of the brass sounds from in the the vst collection here on um studio one from personas and then um one organ sound from my core cross and a synth sound um from the vst on the studio one kind of superimposed on each other um so it's not a lot of stuff it's not a, a, a heavy track. like the top top part um it you know this is one of those again it's, it's about the groove you know of course it's about the lyric and the melody but it's not a you know i like i tend to like a lot of really nice chord changes and you know every so often it's cool to do a song that's not a bunch of chord changes um you know basically it's kind of two chords all the way through um and it's just about the groove um so i'm gonna be working on this track for the next day or so kind of getting it where I want it and finishing everything off and probably start doing the vocals in another few days so I'll be back with a little clip of what's happening with the vocal recording once um, we're ready to do that so yeah this is stay watch out for this one this is one of the this is definitely one that I would like to um, get out there because um, again a lot of the stuff that people have heard from me so far has been the slower stuff so um, it's time for people to hear more of the, the up tempo, funkier stuff. So, uh, look out for it later.